You know, they did kind of make me feel a little better. You want to do another one? Yeah. Okay. As long as we're waiting. What we do? Uh, we did June 25th. Michael June 25th, Jackson. so July 2nd? Right. Okay. What do you got? Uh, Amelia Earhart disappeared. Boom. 1937. All right. You ready? Yeah. You want to start this one? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I like doing these. Yeah. Hey, and welcome to This Day in History. That's Chuck, and I'm Josh, and today is July 2nd. And on this date in 1937, aviatrix and hero to millions, Amelia Earhart disappeared with her navigator, the oft-forgotten uh, Fred Noonan. Yeah, we just like to call him poor Fred Noonan, because Fred never gets any of the press. Right. Although he was there. Yeah. Uh, Amelia Earhart was setting out to become the first woman to pilot a plane around the uh, planet Earth. Around the equator, I believe. Yeah. Which is as long as it gets. Yeah, about 29,000 miles. They made it about 22,000 miles, which is really sad. It was about a month later. They took off on June 1st, last heard from on July 2nd with right. the uh, announcement over the radio. We are heading north and south. Which is extremely confusing. To me. And to everybody. That transmission was made at 8.43 a.m. They were on the last stretch, last 7,000 mile stretch. One of the deadliest too because it's just open Pacific. Yeah. And they were aiming for a tiny little island called Howland Island. And as they were approaching, that's when that last transmission was heard. And after that, nothing. So FDR calls out everybody. The Navy gets everyone involved, spends millions of dollars during the Depression, no yeah. less. And uh, they find no trace of Amelia and Fred. Yeah, and for many years it was just one of those cases where uh, they just said she must have disappeared somewhere in the middle of the ocean. We're never going to find her, right. never going to find any wreckage. But in more recent years, there is a new theory that they actually made it to uh, what at the time was called Gardner Island and now is Nikamumoro Island. Nikamororo. Nikamororo? Nikamororo. What did I say? Nikamomoro? Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I call it Gardner Island. I was not in favor of the name change. Right. Um, because they found some uh, curious artifacts there, like a man shoe, yeah. a woman shoe. Some, uh, a jar of freckle cream, and everybody knows Amelia Earhart had freckles and used freckle cream. Yeah. It's not indigenous, I don't believe, to uh, Nicomaroro. Yeah, uh, like a, an aluminum panel? Yeah. Is that right? And, most to... Is that your phone? It is, sorry. Oh. Is that him? I'll be right back, you wanna finish up? Yeah. <clears throat> and most telling, they found a man's shoe, a woman's shoe, and some bones. They tested the bones for DNA, and the results were inconclusive. So, Amelia Earhart remains disappeared to this day. And on this day, July 2nd, 1937, she disappeared for the first time. Uh, that's this day in history. First and last time. My money is on uh, the DNA saying that was her, although inconclusive. I'd say it was her and Fred Noonan. Uh, that was this day in history. <laughs> Thanks. You got it? Yeah, I got it. I got it. God, why am I the one who always has to do this? I was going to eat it. Shouldn't eat paper. All right, good job. You ready? Yeah. Let's get out of here.